Hello everyone, we are back again, back outside and I want to talk about uh, a Dutch artist that has a lot of influence on something else I want to talk about another time. So it is Anton Pieck, a Dutch uh, visual artist who did a lot of things for a main attraction park called the Efteling. If you look at all the art that Anton Pieck has made, it's usually some romanticized historical uh, event that Anton Pieck thought was really, really nice. Uh, th thinking about things, uh, Dutch people on ice, thinking about pictures of Christmas or just people on the market. Something that is a bit more historically, uh, but romanticized mainly. Born in 1895, he was already drawing his first drawings at 11 years old, which kind of started his uh, particular way of drawing. But war was going on, so in 1915 to 1917 Anton Pieck has to go into the army. Uh, he was drawn into the army. Even during that time he was drawing when he wasn't on duty. He was making a lot of drawings. From that time period, 1915 to 1917, he made about 40 drawings that are uh, still known today. During the Second World War he wasn't uh, actively on duty during that time but he was in the resistance and he mainly used his artistic skills to falsify documents, stamps and all that kind of stuff. He also was one of the people who made uh, it possible for people who died while they were hiding to get a burial. In the meantime, from 1921 on, he became well known as an artist for, uh, among others, uh, pictures for books. You can see his pictures in the book Camera Obscura. Uh, you can see his pictures in the Dutch versions of the Brothers Grimm stories. And also Niels Hokerson. Maybe so some of you know that one. And in 1951, he was approached by a couple of people who wanted to make a fairy tale forest for the young ones. At first he did not want anything to do with that, but they kept on pushing him and eventually um, Anton Pieck realized that this fairy tale forest was not going to be made out of tin and cardboard, but actually real stones and real things. And he became very excited to actually contribute to this project. Nowadays the Efteling is one of the biggest parks in Europe and is in my my opinion one of the most beautiful ones and it's uh, partly because of Anton Pieck and all his drawings and the way he made his illustrations. You can see most of his illustrations in the Anton Pieck Museum but if you want to go to the Efteling almost everything there is in the spirit of Anton Pieck. You can see the way he uses his colors, the way he uses characteristics in the faces and it is lovely. And you think why would I talk about a random artist uh, that has to do with an attraction um, with, a, with a theme park? Well, I'm going to the Efteling soon and I want to talk about Efteling because it's one of the biggest parks, like I said, and in my opinion, one with a lot of history and I really want to talk about that. So this is the precursor of the Efteling Marathon. See you next time. There. Okay. Am I ready? I don't know. <laughs> But of course, um, nope. And he was, uh, boop, 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 boop. but he were, blah. But, and also Niels Hokerson. Maybe so, some of you know that one. Nope. And he became very uh, excited to actually. Blah. Nowadays, the Efteling is one of the biggest parks in not only the Netherlands but in Europe and it is, in my opinion, one of the best... Uh, oh! I almost got driven up. I almost got bucked by a cyclist. Okay. 
you can see most of it, it 